His gift of life upon this volunteer with your children now will be baptized. Son Paul, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I present to you, ladies, member of the Catholic Church, John Paul. Receive the light of Christ. <coughs> These children of yours have been enlightened by Christ. They are to walk always as children of the light. May they keep the flame of faith alive in their hearts. And when the Lord comes out to meet them, may they go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. And we pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord made the deaf ear and the dumb speak. May he soon have touched your ears that you may hear the word of God and your mouth to proclaim his word to the praise and glory of Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Let's stand now for intercessions as we continue our prayer. <laughs> My dear brothers and sisters, we ask the Lord Jesus Christ to love lovely not only on these children who have now been baptized in Christ, but we also ask for other prayers for the other members of the body of Christ, and so we pray. Both your hands uh, up, we will give, first of all, a blessing to the mothers and then to the fathers. God our Father, through his Son, the Virgin Mary, child, has brought joy to all Christian mothers as to see the hope of eternal life shine on their children. May he now bless the mothers of James, Anna, John, Paul, and Cooper. And now give thanks to God for the gift of their children. May they always be one with God and thanking him forever in heaven through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now to the fathers. God is the giver of all life, human and divine. May he now bless the fathers of these children. With their wives, they will indeed be the first to of their children in the ways of faith. May they also be the best of teachers, bearing witness to the faith by what they say and do. And we Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And a blessing for all of us. By God's gift through water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn to everlasting life. In his goodness, may he continue to pour out his blessings upon all of us present here today, who are his sons and daughters. May he make us always, where we may be, faithful members of his holy people. May he send us peace upon all of us gathered here, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So now I said that let us go and enjoy the peace of Christ, to love and serve the Lord by loving and serving one another.